Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. Could we be setting the stage for a massive rally in equities like AMC Entertainment this week? This will be addressed in this video, as I believe there is a high probability of a continued rally. At least, this is what the data and technicals indicate. And now, we'll get into it. In addition, sources indicate First Republic could be acquired by JP Morgan, PNC, or Bank of America, and an announcement could be made as early as Monday morning, shortly after the company enters receivership. Therefore, there is a likelihood that this stock will not resume trading on the markets if a buyout occurs. The stock will likely be acquired at unfavorable prices, which presents a problem in and of itself. For these institutions, because there is a great deal of debt here, they will need to raise a substantial amount of capital to acquire First Republic Bank. And I believe that is just intensifies the prominence of the coerced loan recall situation. On top of that, we will now examine the technical details and give you a clear picture of what's happening with AMC as well as earnings and economic data. Because it's an important week, you were provided with Jerome Powell and Apple. I don't believe you need to say anything else. These two events alone make this week monumental. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. Select the like option. Subscribe to the channel sauce and leave your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. First things first, then. Start with the First Republic. According to the article, large banks including Chief Morgan Chase and Bank of America submitted final proposals for First Republic. U.S. regulators have asked banks to submit their best and final takeover offers for First Republic by Sunday afternoon, a move that authorities hope will end a period of uncertainty for regional lenders. Should Morgan Chase and PNC are likely bidders for the failing bank, which would be seized in receivership and sold to the winning bank immediately. Based on various sources, several institutions, including Bank of America, are reportedly considering a proposal for First Republic, according to individuals with knowledge of the situation. Let me just say that this would not inherently be a good thing for the bank purchasing First Republic. They have some reasonable assets, but a significant amount of debt which is a problem. And this could result in forced loan recalls, as they will need a substantial amount of capital to acquire this lender. They will have to put up a substantial amount of capital, and, I suppose, they already contributed $30 million with each of these institutions to strengthen First Republic. Well, currently, it doesn't appear to be very secure. Consequently, this can begin to drain liquidity from the markets. This could be a very positive development as we prepare for AMC's Friday pre-market earnings report. I also find this to be very intriguing. AMC is scheduled to release earnings before the market opens on Friday, which could actually be of some assistance. You will have until Friday to respond to earnings. And then, the following week, you will receive a comprehensive analysis of AMC's earnings. And why that could be a positive thing is because sometimes people panic regardless of whether the earnings are good or bad. So then, sometimes people panic, right? Over the weekend, you will have more time to digest this and can gain a greater understanding of what's happening with AMC earnings. And earnings estimates for AMC continue to rise, indicating that the company will likely beat earnings estimates and provide optimistic guidance. And this could contribute to an increase in AMC's earnings. Remember that AMC is widely shorted. The cost of borrowing is out of this world, and shorts are losing billions of dollars in massive quantities. Every quarter, they lost well over $2 billion in the first quarter of 2023. Currently, only $700 million is sold short on AMC, just to put it in perspective. And I keep pointing this out to people because it's the perspective that makes this situation so significant. That is equivalent to a loss of 150% on average during the first quarter. This is not a 10% loss. It represents a 150% loss. That is very unfortunate. This is undesirable for shorts. Right. Excellent news for us. Not favorable for shorts. Now, AMC stock, given what I have just said, is likely to rise this week it would not astonish me if pre-profits increased. Now, in addition to that, you will receive income from Sophie, Monday Morning, and Norwegian Cruise Lines. Those will be the two major players. MinGM Resorts, Transocean, Diamondback Energy, Avis Budget Group, NXP, MicroStrategy, 
Vertex CF Industries and Chegg traded after hours on Monday. Tuesday pre-market Uber, Pfizer BP, and Marriott International are members of the Marathon Enterprise Products Partners. That's essentially it. Tuesday late afternoon, AMD for Energy Transmission, Starbucks Lumen, Keysers Entertainment, Wednesday pre-market CVS, Medical Yums, Barrett Platinum Phillips, 66 Generac SD Lauder WWE Sun Power Wednesday following hours. Qualcomm Solar Edge. Merca Gulliver. Sun Run Fastly Marathon Petroleum Etsy HubSpot Thursday, pre market Datadog AB in Bev. Moderna Royal Royal Caribbean Group, Pelavin. Conica Phillips, Shell, and APA Corporation are members of the consortium. Thursday after hours. Obviously, today will be the major day. Apple. Booking Holdings, Shopify, Block, Coinbase, DraftKings, Lyft, and Carvana. And Apple alone accounts for 10% of the Nasdaq, 7% of the S&P. Therefore, their earnings will be very significant. And Apple, although they've lowered the bar for Apple, it's still quite high compared to the figures we received in the previous quarter. The craziest aspect of this entire rally is that people have been anticipating ever-worsening earnings for 2023 as a result of Apple's significant earnings failure in the most recent quarter. However, equities have continued to rise. Right. Even though we anticipate poor earnings in 2023, the large tech equities continue to advance. To put it mildly, it is incredibly absurd. Typically, stock prices rise when earnings estimates increase, not when they decrease. Apple is nearly at an all-time peak. This places the markets in a precarious position ahead of Apple's earnings report on Thursday. And C will begin marketing Warner Bros. Discovery Fubo TV on Friday. These three stocks will dominate the Friday pre-market. And, as previously stated, you will have until Friday to trade AMC to see how investors react to earnings. After Friday, you'll have the weekend to process this information, and the following week may bring a more concrete development. However, I believe there is a strong possibility that AMC will increase its earnings. Now, the MACD is also in mildly bullish territory, but it is not even close to being overbought. Obviously, examine the graph. and could recover exponentially from here on out, and AMC typically gains 50 to 100% before or after earnings. Therefore, either this week or the subsequent weeks are likely to be exceptionally profitable for AMC. If not, it would not surprise me if this week's good and AMC earnings were also positive. Now we've got a lot more to cover in the next video, which will be released today at 4 o'clock p.m. Gentlemen, remain tuned. In addition to providing you with a comprehensive breakdown of the technicals and my price forecast for the upcoming week, I will also provide you with a great deal of other crucial information that you need heading into the upcoming week. Therefore, thank you for viewing. Click the like icon. Register for the channel Prepare for a Crazy Crazy Week by submitting your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.